Hi guys, Journey to Justice here. On the Roy L's, welcome to the Roy L's and the Dream. There's more, and there's gonna be more in the upcoming weeks. And stay tuned for further updates and news on the Roy L's of Sussex as we say goodbye to their future from the British Royals and God save the Queen. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Let's talk Royals. Okay, the um, some new developing news on the Sussex Royals uh, trademark. They filed their trademark in 2019 and which was at least seven months ago and this is where they're going to make their money. Well, they plan to, using the title Royale. Well, there's been a stumbling block, guys. A block, actually. A block on the trademark. And it comes from, uh, they are saying, the rumors out there, Australian doctor from Melbourne who had worked as a doctor in England for a few years um, when you do a trademark they give you time for anybody to come forth and um, contest it kind of thing and nobody had until now since they made their decision to step back as senior royals now the complaint has come forth by a dr gloucester dr gloucester now that sounds like a nursery rhyme to me and we don't even know if this doctor really exists why would a doctor put in a complaint well it's another stumbling block for the royals harry and megan so with this it sets back the date of february sometime that uh this trademark would go into effect without any complaints uh, but now this has put it back until March to deal with the complaint now they are saying that this could be a very big legal matter for Harry and Meghan to settle now we know guys everybody Tom Dick and Harry is coming out the woodwork uh, buying up the name and they are trying their best to stop it and buying I don't know all the names you know to do with with their name like people are setting up their clothing they're setting up in the name do you know what I mean they know that this name is a big one so it looks like 
the Royals, the X Royals, are going to be in more legal dilemma. Boy, if they're going to make their billions, they're not going to make it this way with every Tom, Dick, and Harry taking them to court. Now, they're kind of getting used to it by now because they're suing everybody. Yes, they're suing everybody. And is this the way to go? To make millions in suing every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes along? Um, well, you can sue anybody for anything these days. Yes, you can. And we know it. We're hearing about it. And if it doesn't have a warning sign on it, a warning sign, you are going to get sued. So that is the latest on that bombshell. What are they going to do? Now, the next thing they got to sort out is this uh, kind of this loophole that's going on that can be used with um, their security, how to go about it. Now, this is why the Queen probably never took away the HRH right now. And that makes him a national security risk and he needs protection. And they're going to try to use um, what happened to Lady Diana. She was hounded by the press. They keep dwelling about mental health and Lady Diana and the press, empathizing that this could happen to them. But the thing is, we don't really see the media hounding them too. They were never really on their own. They're together a lot. They do their events together, uh, their charities together. When did this happen? The only time it's happened is when Megan is by herself. Now, did you notice the, the two dogs she had with her? You know, walking through the public footpath public that is public to anybody that wants to walk their children or their dogs you know or a nice little stroll now it's it's been proven that she was the one that called him you can have your cake and eat it too you can't stress to the fact that you're on the brink of being run over by paparazzi when you call them yourself and it's all staged it was all staged now when you play when you do antics like this the public is not liking you more and more and more and the lies that keep coming out of their mouths you could have just simply stepped back and didn't use any excuse, any excuse. You could have said, it's not for us. We want our own life and freedom to do what we will. You didn't have to make all these lies up about everything. Now, Diana died a long time ago. Harry needed to, you know, get some help for his trauma that he says he's traumatized. Every time he sees flashing lights, it brings him right back to his mother. Now, Harry is used to the media. He's been brought up with it. It's not that traumatic. Believe me, it's not. He's using it the excuse for people to feel sorry for him. Because we did feel sorry for him. 
but he is used to it. He has no problem any other time. Plus, he's been to war. Maybe it's because he's been to war. Like a lot of them get flashbacks. But it's not for, for the hounding of the press to his wife and she can't deal with it. She has been behind that camera a lot of years. That's her job. So she's used to flashing lights and cameras. In fact, she welcomed them. But now all of a sudden it's trauma? Harry stated in his statement that he had found a woman that could do the job. Because obviously in that statement, he was looking for somebody to do the job with him, to be a senior role with him. That was the point. Otherwise he could have married Chelsea in South Africa, the country he loved so much. The reason why she didn't want nothing else to do with him was because she didn't want the royal life. She didn't want to be in that spotlight. And he found a woman that said, yes, I will do it. I'll stand by you. We'll be a team. And now he had to make the decision to stand back because he had no other choice. I don't know what he's talking about when he had no other choice. Now they don't want all the blame being put on Megan, you know, but it looks like she is to blame because she said so with her sad, miserable, sour face on her in Africa. South Africa when she says it's not one to exist one has to thrive and saying nobody asked if I'm okay nobody has to ask if you're okay if you're not okay you speak up and say I'm not okay I can't do the job. I'm sorry. I can't. I didn't realize that at the beginning. But it's too much for me. Why didn't you just say that? You don't have to make excuses. And, you know, it's not a job that... It's very hard to quit. Like, I quit today. It doesn't work like that. But it does in your case because that's exactly what you've done. And even though the talks have been going on for months, so they say, for months, the public have only just found out just like that. So you never ease the public into your decision that this may be your long-term goal. You just quit. It seems like you just quit. And really you didn't. And the public were getting to talking about all this months ago because the signs were there. The signs of the breakdown were there. So, yeah, everybody's going to have a field day on this one. And so all the stumbling blocks are being put up, guys. What's next? What's next? Well, it's the security. The security. Now, there's one thing I want to mention about that security. If they were so worried that she was getting run over by a car and all kinds of things were happening in that park, we took a look at those pictures and the security were so lax. If you call that security, they had not a fear in the world because they would have been jumping in front of that prince and guarding that baby with their life. Believe me, if that baby was about to get run over, like she said, 
and made the complaint that she said she was getting run over by the paparazzi. There's just no way. These security guards are there to save a, to save the prince's life. They will risk theirs to save the prince. That's what they're there for. They would take a bullet for this prince. Uh, what were they doing? On their phone and smoking a cigarette or something like that? Uh-uh-uh. So, you know, when we see pictures like that and then we see you know, the statements they make and, and the drama they're making. It's just making her look even worse. Narcissistic. And I'm beginning to think she's got some mental health problems and probably was not fit for the Judies anyway. Because, you know, there's some mad hatters in those royal family and we found out they are. But there's some things that the British will put up with, and there's some things that they won't. And a true Brit will try to stand by the royal. But there comes a time when you can't. You can't ignore the lies and what's going on. So she wasn't for the job and she hasn't been for the job the people are, are not warming up to her she's not likable the more she opens her mouth the more unlikable she is for the job and she's turning the royals upside down I don't know what she's trying to do she's trying to make the racist card everybody's racist um, she's been told no, no, no so many times that they've lost count. She thinks she's entitled to change the rules. She don't follow the rules. She's been banned at looking at the jury. She, she had to have an escort, she, like um, a guardian, to follow every move, to watch her. She, because she was caught taking pictures of the jewelry who does that there's a spy in the royal family they don't like that they don't like that now she's got some secrets to tell about the royal family what don't we know what don't we know what they've been doing of course they've been doing it they're all getting accused of doing it cheating, having 10 girlfriends, uh, escorts, trafficking, um, love affairs, partying, smoking, doing drugs, alcohol problems, um, you name it. They've been doing it and they're human outside the royal they're human and maybe they need to smoke or something with their job you know stress relief but if you have a mental issues and that's your charity you're focusing on mental issues then get help yourself number one you can't help somebody else when you can't even help yourself when you don't even help yourself and get treatment. It all talk, no action. Hypocrites. That's how I feel. I don't know about you guys, but a bunch of hypocrites. Uh, you say, do this, do that, but you don't do it yourself. You do the opposite, like everybody else is saying. You tell us to, you know, you're on about the pollution and but you, then you go and use 10 jets uh, save money for this and your charities yet you go spend twice as much uh, I don't know what you think you're doing actions speak louder than words 
you're contradicting yourself you're doing the opposite to what you're preaching and that's how I feel about that so that's a little bit of more ranting about the Royals and what they're up to and what could be going on and the Canadians they don't want their peaceful life interrupted they're on an island people pay good money to be there and they don't want a prince and his wife coming into their neighborhood and calling the paparazzi and crying wolf crying wolf it's not even good news it's not even good f what they are advertising their peaceful island they want it kept a secret it's one of the most expensive places to live in Canada you've got to be earning uh, millions millions to live well they're saying you better be earning over five million to be even be able to live there your income has to be very high and they don't want that ruined and yes they are proud Canadians and they don't want outsiders in at any cost and you know like they were saying about the uh, the tour well the, the guy that does boat trips he's like a he takes people around for a tour around the um, bay paparazzi were saying they were gonna pay him a hundred and something an hour to boat them around and he refused honor the honor money it's not worth it to me my livelihood is worth more to me my reputation is worth more to me hey Megan how about that how about that Megan and, and Harry yeah and you're gonna find out about the locals if you just mind your own business and get on with your life and start tormenting the paparazzi and making stuff up because you're in a worse position than you were being in England you were you were protected in England from the paparazzi and it's not like the paparazzi anymore they learned their lesson with Diane they were so you know heartbroken they were and they backed away and did it a different way the way you see it today they get their pictures they get a moment the royals give them time get their pictures but Megan and Harry don't want the press to sell their pictures they want to make the money that's all it's about it's about money they want control of who sees pictures and if the price is right because they thought they were so entitled entitled no you're not entitled there's good money and there's dirty money and they're I'm afraid that they're going into uh, loopholes here and like I said they're going to have overseas bank accounts they're going to start moving this money into this money it's going to turn out like it's a fraud they're going to be tax invasion there's all kinds of things going to go on I think it's going on right now it's going on right now somebody's going to be in trouble like the and then suddenly you know Megan's mother's coming into all this money she's even selling herself on the quiet she's just the quiet one keeping her mouth shut because she knows where the money is and she knows what is good for her it's suddenly coming into all this money property well you know that's her daughter's property and one way to get away with tax paying tax is put it in her mother's name 
they're going to do what a lot of rich people do. How do you think they keep their money, they make their money? They are going to make donations and make money from... They're allowed to file taxes and claim on charity donations. Like I said, if you give a million to a, a donate a million to a charity, you can claim that on your taxes. And you and they deduct a million and you get taxed on the rest. Don't think these stars give their money away for nothing. It's like a little piggy bank. They get it back when they file their taxes. They get a tax credit for it. Oh, my goodness me, how do you think? They get rich. Now you can give any amount you want to charity and claim it in your taxes. You just need the proof. Of course you need the proof that you've done it and and the receipts but that's what they all do now they're saying that she's well Victoria Beckham was saying well it was in the paper that she was love bombed by Megan loved bombed and this is a narcissistic trait to get that person close to them to get them to tell us secrets to get things they want to feel special now Megan said she wouldn't wear none of her dresses because you know they're like pencil or whatever but she does wear her outfits she does and she said she wouldn't I mean which is it you do or you don't but what the thing was is she wasn't getting nothing for free. She wasn't getting gifted that she thinks she's entitled to a gift. But Victoria Beckham said right at the start of her career that she is not going to give out free gifts of any of her work. And she said for nobody for nobody and she's lived up to that now because she is no use to her anymore she's saying bad stuff about her and she can't believe it she's been accused of this been accused of letting out secret stuff to the press and Harry had to talk to her husband and you know because they're close friends they've done a lot of work together and he's had to have a talk to him and everything seemed to be okay and then when all the big drama came out because Megan made it that way you know it's causing problems between Harry and David Beckham I don't know what she's trying to do. Now there's something seriously wrong with her, I'm thinking, if everything this is true. And it seems to be true because it's outweighing the good now. It's outweighing the good. Okay, what good did she do? Okay, she walked around with Harry. But the thing is, she walked around with Harry. Have you seen the videos? Have you seen what's been going on? Like I said, what the hell is going on here? Harry's the prince. Megan doesn't know her place. Harry, is Harry letting her do this? She pushes her way in front of Harry. She pushes him back. She thinks she's imperial to Harry. Now Harry's the prince. You walk behind your husband. That's what you do. You're not equal. Your marriage is equal. 
but when you go on royal events he's you walk in front of your your husband walks in front of you you don't walk in front of your husband and you don't take first place I mean everybody's saying that she thinks she's Lady Diana well that's what I said a while back I said well, who does she think she is everything she's doing everything they're saying uh, everything is to do with what happened with Lady Diana now she's taking the piss out of the Queen's dogs because well have you noticed the Queen doesn't have too many dogs anymore maybe one little corgi it's too much for her anymore she had a Labrador a black dog and another dog just like the ones that Megan adopted from the shelter if you go back well I have a picture I'll put it up two dogs that the Queen had because normally she has corgis but there was a black Labrador and there was another mutt I don't know what kind of dog that other one is mixed yeah and plus she said she didn't even know anything about the royal family she doesn't even know who Prince Harry was well you know that's a goddamn lie that's a lie is she crazy and so little things like that And I was beginning to think she was copying what Harry was doing. You know when she, Harry used to, he's always putting his hand down by his stomach. He, if you watch, he does it a lot. He does it a lot. And that's because maybe the wind's blowing or it's just what he does, it's a habit. Um, just to making sure everything's right there and tucked in right there. And then Megan started doing it. I thought it was a trend. It, I thought, well, what's going on here? That's their trademark or what? Because that's what she was doing. Except she was pregnant. But before that, Kate used to do that. Has done that. And if I go look at Lady Diana, maybe she used to do that. I don't know. But it was getting so annoying that she was doing it too much she was doing it when she was only a month pregnant now come on it, it was just annoying I don't know about you guys but it was just getting so annoying but she copies everybody she's a copycat because she's a narcissist she can't make she can't make her own style up her own style do you know what I mean that's gonna be you you're gonna be known as this for doing this don't copy somebody else's trend yeah well that's what she does the trend she copies people's quotes and words she puts them in her statements but there's somebody else's words you gotta have your own you gotta have your own quote your own your own statement labeled you this is you only you say it you made it up kind of thing you know why and you know the latest Harry's suing the paper but they're coming back with the lies you can't you're not gonna win you're not gonna win the press in Canada is a little bit to America and a little different to England, okay? Or totally different. You're, you're, you're free game. And perhaps they haven't established, you know, one rule for one and one rule for the other. No. No, you're equal now. You want to be independent. Now you're fair game just like the pop stars the you know movie stars and people like that 
if you live a low profile life like some stars did you won't be uh, harassed by the press if that's what you call it there's lots of stars that are low profile you don't hardly hear nothing about them that's you need to take note maybe call them up and ask them how they went about it you know they sure didn't go about it suing people and making up stuff and calling the press and then crying wolf they didn't do it that way you need to talk to them the ones that have done it and had a, a nice career and not been hounded but you're going to get it no matter what so because of who you are you need to make a pack that's what you knew you need to come to an agreement but you know that's going to be all staged and that's not going to be fun you know that's not going to be fun and this is nothing compared with Fergie when she was seen sucking on her toes sucking on her boyfriend's toes topless <laughs> but you know there are pictures of Megan topless. Is that been released? You know, what she used to do for a living to make her money, to put her, her way through college. You know, like a lot of people do. They do modeling and all kinds of things that they might regret later. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've seen the pictures. I've seen the pictures. They, yeah, they're topless. And she seems like she's taking her own pictures because she's so full of herself. And I don't know who she was taking them for. But, I mean, in your face. They were in your face. Like fried eggs, though. I mean, fried eggs. Guys, I don't care if somebody goes topless or anything like that. But, you know, it's who you are today. And who you, you're lying about yourself. Do you know what I mean? Uh, you don't need to lie. You are what you were back then. You didn't think you were going to marry a prince. Or did you? Or did you? Because it seems like when you knew Prince Harry was at your friend's party, you made sure you gatecrashed that party and then worked your magic. Yeah, because you knew he was available. Maybe that's why you dumped your husband you dumped him pretty fast and nobody knows why well we know why don't we because she had to be a free woman she had to be a free woman and if we think about it she probably was stalking him she's a stalker I'm beginning to think she was a stalker. She said she's got the traits. She's obsessive, narcissist. It, yeah, I'm beginning to feel that it, it was a plan. Plan one, plan two. It's it's all going to plan. And we should be wor very worried about Prince because Prince Harry, even though. You can make your choice who you want to marry, but then you're going to face the consequences at the end of the day. And we all go through it. We've all been in bad marriages or bad relationships that, you know, hopefully you learn by. But they don't seem to have much, much success in staying married in the royal family. Except Queen Elizabeth. Because she takes her job seriously. She's about the only one. We haven't really heard too much about their life. You know, we haven't really heard any too much dirty. But who's to say there wasn't? And... It might not have come from the queen. She may have been as pure as she looks, but I don't know about her husband. And he stood by her side 
and walked behind her all his life because she was the queen and he gave up everything for the queen. And they were a teamwork. They did teamwork. The royal life is glamorous. They get everything, everything, but at a cost. But to them, because they've lived that lifestyle, they don't know no different. So it's not at a cost. It's just what's expected of them. It's just what's expected of them. And they take their job seriously because it could and will be taken away if they can't do the job. And now, the Queen has put out a statement that she's going to be retiring. Now, we don't know when. They said maybe in a year or two. But she has announced that she will be retiring, guys. So what does that mean? This is why maybe Harry's made their move. The father, Charles, will become king. But will he become king? I'm not so sure about that. Because Williams is getting really serious in his job. And with his relationship with his brother, I think he is putting his foot down. Because it's getting closer for him to become king. And he has to prove that he's the man for the job, no matter if it's your brother or not, because he was born to be the king, the future king. And I think that's another reason that his brother cannot hold his hand anymore. He has to let go. So guys, thanks for stopping by, and what are your thoughts on all this drama? I mean, it's worth, you know, talking about, and, but there's more to come. There's going to be more to come. And it looks like, you know, every Tom and Dick and Dare Harry out the woodwork is coming out. The whole Meghan Markle family is coming out the documentary is coming out did you hear what the father said yeah I forgot about that the father said that the royal family owes him Megan owes him Harry owes him everybody owes him he's 75 years old and Megan told him that she would look after him in his senior years well, he said, well, now's the time has come. I'm 75. Time to start looking after Papa. Damn. I said, damn. So that documentary is coming out. Um, the brother, the sister have spoken out. And they're all getting paid. They're all getting paid and they're all getting paid still from the interviews and photos they did from the last time before they got married and you know Thomas was asked that question oh are you still getting paid from them photos and you know he goes sure I am yes I am I'm still getting paid how much is he getting paid royalties how much is he getting paid but they're all doing it they're all doing documentaries. And it's been going on for months. It's been in the works for months. And Thomas said he released only part of the letter in response to Megan's friends lying. And he had to release the letters to defend himself. 
to defend himself. Now, the court case is coming up very soon. And Megan has to be in the country to prove her case. She has to be there in person. She can't be on Skype. If she doesn't show up, the case will be thrown out. So let's see if she wants to draw more attention to herself because it's not exactly the press's fault because we know how they are. They get a hold of someone, they're going for it. Why don't you sue your father? Because he's the one that gave it to them. Or is that too low below the belt for you to sue your father? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you next time on the Roy L's. And thank you for stopping by. And don't forget to like and sub to my channel and press that notification bell so you can be notified on further events like the Royals. And my journey to justice.